Alright everybody and welcome to your 30th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be discussing about Ajax mainly. Now let's get started. Now in the last tutorial we did a simple method called load with just some limited options we could actually perform but I'll be telling you a more comprehensive and a kind of more versatile and flexible method in jQuery to perform a synchronous request um, around your file system. So remove the code from the previous tutorial and type a dollar sign a dot and a jax. Now this kinda looks odd because from the starting what we have been doing is mainly either like dollar some selector dot uh, method or directly like anything we would eventually do like calling a function like invoking a function like document dot ready but this time I, what I'm doing is dollar dot ajax now this technically means that we are working with jQuery's inbuilt core functions so I told you in the very first lecture that dollar is equal to jQuery um, jQuery so we are technically working with like jQuery dot Ajax which now makes some sense so I'll just use dollar dot Ajax and this would accept an object if you see that we are just passing in curly braces so this is accepting an object so what we need to do is first of all specify URL now this URL would be something like we did in the load so this would be similar to like load me.txt and the next thing would be for us for this tutorial would be either you can do success or I'll tell you one more method and the difference between two dot done now you see that the success was the part of the object itself whereas the done is <coughs> a separate function after this ajax object so let's see with the done and I'll just pass an anonymous function here and I'll just say alert and I'll just pass um, data as a parameter so ajax this ajax whatever it receives from this URL would throw that inside this parameter and we are just alerting that so here's my page let's reload this and you see that we got an alert this is a dynamically stored text okay so coming back we have um, a couple of more methods right here instead of done so I've got one as fail now this would just as it suggests would fire whenever um, the request fails or something happens strange so if I change the file name here and if I reload this so you see that I got an alert as object object and let's just console log what that means because alert has not been very helpful in this case so let's reload so you see in the console we got this object ready state 0 status 0 and state status text as error so what we can do is now we know that data dot status text yep so this contains our message so when I will reload this so now you see that we get alert as error so this fail would eventually fire whenever the request fails and the done would fire whenever the request completes and you get a valid URL and response data so we have got one more parameter here which is optional obviously data is also optional but I just use that which is the status code now if I alert status code in both of these so let's see what happens let's reload and you see that in the status code it is success and for the fail one in the status code you see it's error so for the fail one status code is technically the same as data dot status text just instead of um, 
you need to know about what is the property associated with the error you can just use the status code and alert that here but yeah you cannot use like this thing because the inbuilt JavaScript parser doesn't know that you want the status code because status code is only thrown back on the second argument so you got to have a first argument right here so that's about Ajax a little bit of Ajax and basically when you are doing like a two-way communication because this is a kind of one-way communication you're just receiving data from this file and you're doing nothing else but in a two-way communication what you need to do is eventually you need to pass the data as well to that particular file so let's say if this was not loadme.txt or something like register.php a file and I need to pass some user data what I'll do is I'll just create another property here data and this would accept a object as well and right here I'll just say um, username and somehow selector dot get username so you get the idea what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you pass the data in jQuery with the data attribute here and as an object as the data whatever is passed so this would be our file and this would be our data and that would be a really two-way communication because then the register.php would give us some specific code which we'll need to parse using these functions so that's it for this tutorial for Jax and I guess I covered pretty much to get you guys started and there's a lot more a lot lot more things to Ajax so if you want to learn all of them you're free to go to the Ajax developer site which is Ajax um, sorry it should be jQuery.com and um, I don't remember the documentation link exactly you can just google that Ajax and you'll be presented with the first link for the documentation itself so that's it for this and i'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching